OMG. So I'm looking to update last year's video I did on the CDC's obesity trends in the U.S., and you won't believe what I found. Here's 2010's obesity rate per state. It's pretty bad, right? Over one-third obesity in all those states in red. Makes sense, though. That's what the trends have been going towards over the years. Now here's the CDC's latest release for 2011. What? Where did all that red go? My goodness, it's a miracle. Millions of obese people have been cured this past year. The CDC has saved us all. Wrong. It's actually much worse than last year. The CDC did what all good government agencies do when the numbers look really bad and get too high. They just change the limits in the way they calculate them so they look better than they really are. And I'm not just talking about changing the color coding either. Ah, come on. The government doesn't really do that, do they? Oh, sure they do. Remember Fukushima? Many nuclear experts are rating it as 10 times worse than Chernobyl. Radioactive isotopes are being dumped by the masses onto the U.S. via air and rain through the Pacific jet streams. So how does the EPA handle a situation where suddenly most of the U.S. milk, water, and produce is exceeding the previous radioactive limits allowable? Well, raise them, of course. How much are they raising them? Well, for example, radioactive iodine-131 is being revised to anywhere from 3,000 to 100,000 times over the current allowable limits in water. The impact? Under these new so-called protective action guidelines by the EPA, drinking just one glass of water considered safe by the EPA could subject you to the lifetime limit of radiation. But the group Public Employees for Environmental Responsibility is pushing back, claiming that these new limits could cause cancer in as many as every fourth person exposed. Really? There's that elephant in the room again. So what's the moral of the story here, folks? When it comes to new obesity rate data from the CDC or nuclear and toxic exposure data from the EPA, don't believe everything you read. Do your own research, especially from private agencies, and keep your BS detector tuned in to our oh-so-loyal government agencies playing the CYA card.